if we want to be able to have different levels of authorization on our page, such as uh, user or admin, uh, we can achieve this by using roles. And roles are basically just a string value which you link to your user and by doing so granting them more or restricting their access to parts of your site. Because uh, maybe I don't want just anyone to be able to edit or delete uh, books on my site here. So I only want the admin to have that right. So then I can just create a role called admin and restrict the access to that parts of the site to the admin role. So let's start off by implementing the ability to add roles. And if you come to the controller folder here, we can add a new controller. We can call this one admin. And we want to begin by injecting a role manager into our constructor. So role manager, identity role, like so. And from here we want to type uh, role manager, identity role, role manager, and just initiate this one here like that and then we can come down to this one and just rename it to list all roles and we want to just get all the roles that exist like so and then we can just return them in the view here. Just to clarify, we can put HTTP get up here. And now we can just right click here, add view, and an empty view. Call it list all roles. And the model we wanna be using is a I enumerable of identity role and let's see if we need to yes add a using statement for that one and we can do like this oops sorry all roles and let's just put a h1 up here all roles and we want a button class button and some margin and the ASP action for this one will be add role. And I'm just gonna paste a nice icon here from Font Awesome. And down here we wanna have an if statement. So if model dot any, meaning that if there are any roles in our role list. We want to print all those here. Otherwise, uh, we just want to print out h5. And we can say in all roles yet use the button. Like that. Uh, so in this if statement here, I'm going to put a table 
of type table and call three and in here in the table header I'm just gonna put table row and two data rows. First one will be H5 of row. And the second one is just empty. So after this one, I want to put a for each loop that will iterate over all the roles in the model. So in the T body, I'm just going to put a TR of TD of role dot name and down here we want to have two buttons so the first one will be a edit button and the second one will be, will be a delete button so First of all, I can just do like this until we have implemented it. So do like that. And class button primary btn dot s dash sm means button small and I'm going to put a nice edit symbol in here. I'm just going to copy this one, paste a trash can symbol, and make this one danger. So if we just save that one and save the admin controller. And before we're able to run this, we just have to come down to the startup file and go to where it says add default identity and just add here add roles and identity role like that. And now we're able to run our program. And if you go to the admin slash list all roles, we see that we have here all roles, add role, no roles yet. Use the button above to add your first role. And once we click this one, we will get an error because we haven't implemented the add role yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Come back to the admin controller and just add a HTTP get of add role and we just want to return the view of add role and we can just add view so here in the add role view all we really want is to add is a name and to be able to get only the name we can use a view model so we can just create a new folder called view model and add a new class and call it add role view model and in here we'll just type property called role name and we want this one to be required and we can display the name as role name all right save that one and in here we want to add that one as the model so 
Quick store dot view model dot add role view model. We can add a title. Add role. Add a h1. Add role. And here we want to add a form to be able to post this. Add role, the method is post. And we can set the class MT, have some margin, to three. So within this form, I'm gonna add a div to start off and give this a class of form group and row and I want to have a label ASP4 role name give it a class of call one call form label like that and I'm just going to create another div. And in here, I want to put an input. ASP4. Role name. Add a class. Form control. You can add a placeholder of name. And just below, we'll add a span of ASP station for, you guessed it, role name. And a class of text danger. And finish it off. Then we just want to add a button down here. First, I'll just wrap it in a div, a class of form group and call or so I'll just add the button type submit button primary add role and just below I want to add a div with a ASP action sorry ASP action that goes to list all roles Button warning, and Y of three, that's margin in the Y axis of three. And I'll put a font awesome icon here and right back. And just save this one. And if I run the program now, I can just show you what it looks like. Install roles, and it looks like this. If I click add role, you can see here, add the role name, add role, and back. Um, looks a bit weird here, so I'm just gonna close this one and actually go to the view model and just call it role. Run it again. You can see here role, add role, and now we have to implement the add role function. So we'll go back to the controller. So just below this one here, I'll add a HTTP post, public async, 
task with i action result we call it add role and in here uh, we just want to pass the add role view model we call it model and all that i get from that one is the name so if the model state is valid check that if everything is correct the validation passes then we just want to create a new identity role and pass the name as model dot name role name like that oh not that one sorry and then we just want to check await role manager dot create async and just use the identity role we just created and if the result succeeded we just want to return redirect to action that we want to use the list of roles Otherwise, we'll add a for each loop with var error in the result dot errors. Just add these to the model state. And we can just do like that instead. That's fine. So after the for each, after the if statement, we just return view with model. So now if I save this one and go to run it again, we can go to the admin list all roles add role get an admin role now we see that i have an admin role added here we can add another one user and now we have two roles here so that's it for this one and in the coming videos i'm going to go through how you can edit your roles delete roles and also how you can add users to your existing roles so you can use them for authorization in your website. So maybe I'll see you again in the coming videos.